Okay, let's do one more problem in this section. Uh, this is the instantaneous center of zero velocity section. Uh, and so if I want to find angular velocities of links, if I see links not in pure rotation, the instantaneous center is a good method to use. And so I'm going to use the instantaneous center for this link right here. All right, so uh, let's see. I would say B is going that direction. Let me draw in a different color. B is going this direction, so my radial line it actually is the link. This looks like it might go through D. It really doesn't. Don't, don't assume uh, too much. Uh, <clears throat> and then VC is going either to the right or to the left. Not, not quite sure. Um, <clears throat> but either way, my radial line would be the link. Remember that if you have links, these links are radial lines. All right, so for this blue one, my instantaneous center, I don't think it's right there at D, maybe a little bit above D, uh, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> so let me call this RD, this RB, and let me find those distances R. Uh, I like to draw the triangle that the instantaneous center is in. So let's look at this um, blue triangle. All right, this one is, it looks, it looks like a right triangle, so, so I can use sine and cosine. Don't know that angle? <coughs> yes, uh, this is a 30 degree, 90 degree, 60 triangle. So, I know this side, 0.4, um, and then that side is RD. So how about um, sine of 30 equals opposite, sorry, no, 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 it would be opposite over hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is right there, sorry, let me see here, I know opposite, so tangent is what I'm looking for, tangent of 30 equals opposite over adjacent, so that would give me RD. Am I calling it RD? Sorry. Let me call this RC, because this is the distance that C is. Sorry, this is the distance C is from its instantaneous center, point C. So RC, point 2309. And let me use cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And I've got RB. 0.4619 meters. 0.4619 meters. Make sure that makes sense. Does it seem like RB would be the larger of those three sides? Yeah, yeah. And so you see, this is 0.23, so, so it is not at point D. Uh, point D is, is just 0.2. It's above it at 0.2309. <clears throat> so I think that was the hardest part of the problem. Now we can just use V equals R omega. V equals R omega, V equals R omega. Where should we start? <clears throat> well, what are we given the most information about? Down here at link AB. So write out to myself, okay, remind myself, I'm looking at link AB, and I'm going to say VB equals R omega, VB equals 0.2, uh, VB would be 2 meters per second. And because this is going clockwise, I know this is going down and to the right. Don't worry too much about that direction down and to the right. Is it 30 degrees from vertical for 30 degrees from horizontal? Uh, we're just doing magnitudes here. V equals R omega, V equals R omega. All right, <clears throat> now I'm going to look at the imaginary disk. The imaginary disk that is centered up here at the instantaneous center that this bar BC, this bar BC is glued on top of for just this instant. And so I would still look at point B, but a different R, a different omega. Uh, so this 2 is equal to RB, 0.4619 times omega of BC. So I'd get omega of BC. <clears throat> Let me save some room here. Well, uh, would be 4.33 radians per second. But clockwise or counterclockwise, well, if I know B is going this way and I know the center is up here, this would be uh, counterclockwise right here. I think that's one thing that it asks for. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to stick on the imaginary disk, but now let me look at point C. 
So now let me look at point C equals RC uh, 0 0.2309 times omega. Since I'm still on the imaginary disk, I can still use that omega for that rigid body right there. <coughs> this would be 1.0 meters per second. And now I can go and look at link, let's see, link CD and VC, sorry, equals R uh, CD omega CD. So this is, so I'm still at this point, but now I'm looking at the link CD. Our CD is 0.2 omega CD would be 5 radians per second. I've got to visualize. <clears throat> Alright, so it starts out, this is going clockwise, so this is going that direction, which makes this go counterclockwise, which makes C go, so I did choose the right direction right here, and if C is going the right direction, and now CD is rotating about D, uh, this would be counterclockwise right there. So those are my answers. 5 radians per second counterclockwise for bar CD, uh, 4.33 radians per second counterclockwise uh, for bar um, BC. Let's step back and look. Look at this one last time. <clears throat> I used VB equals RAB, omega AB, and then I took that VB and I jumped to the imaginary disk, RB, omega BC. Stayed on that imaginary disk, and I looked at point C, stayed on point C, and I looked at the different disk. And so I st they gave me omega AB. I snaked my way through this problem. I ended up with omega CD. Great path for these problems. You see the only equation I used after I found those R's? <clears throat> v equals R omega, V equals R omega, V equals R omega, V equals R omega. All right, not too bad. Pretty, pretty easy, right? Pretty cool.